Hey guys, James here today and welcome to my build by overview of The Sims 4 Get Famous. This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Uh, so let's go ahead and get straight into this. I've prepared this lot. I actually spent like four hours preparing this. This is the longest build by setup I've ever done, I swear. But it's really cool and I'll put it on the gallery so you guys can check it out. Uh, first I'll show you the crappy parts of it just because I didn't know where else to put the stuff. Uh, so I, I basically got every item from Get Famous in this build and then I also decorated it a little bit. So I'm uh, going to go through, we'll jump into build mode right now. This right here is a new roof decoration, obviously designed for like, you know, opulent mansions and that. But I've just sort of put it in the roof here. So obviously it would look like way better and way more at home in a roof somewhere. Uh, up the top uh, we have these cool roof vent things which are in separate pieces like this. So obviously these three are the same piece, but I've just sort of put them in a line like that. Then we also have a smaller version of the same thing. Uh, so you can just put them along the top, like I've sort of made this big uh, sound stage here. Also, this is a new uh, roof texture. Three different colors of it right here. That one is not as good. Let's go back. Uh, and then at the front here, we have new billboard well this is one billboard i just did a bunch of colors because i thought it looked pretty cool all the way along these are all the the variants of it right there we also have these new set of murals uh has three different variants right here also just right off the bat as well this is not like a, a review it's an overview so i'm sort of showing you everything that comes in obviously i'll give my opinions here and there but take that how you will uh, it's, you know, I'm just showing you, feel free to decide what you want. Uh, so we actually have a new fence here as well. And, uh, I should actually put the new gate in. Uh, well, there's a bunch of new fences and a bunch of new gates. There's a bunch of them inside too, which we'll look at soon. So this is obviously, this is great for mansions up in the hills. So this is the new gate that matches along with the fence. These have a bunch of different colors as well. A lot of, pretty much all, oh my God, golden gate. Look at that. It's Golden Gate Bridge. Well, it's not a bridge. It's just a just a gate. But anyway, that's there. And we also have these new signs as well, which are like I just like a venue sort of sign. Good for clubs. There's a lot of gold in this pack, by the way. So get excited for that. Um, then we also have this new door just here. It's like a sort of a soundstage door that also comes with a, a few variants hidden away. Like there's a sort of a celebrity dressing room, hair and makeup, uh, wardrobe, and then just a few more of those again. Uh, then we also have this sort of soundstage light. You know, like saying, you know, they're recording or something like that. We also have these huge spotlights, which I think... Yeah, let's turn them on. Yeah, there you go. They have cool animations on them. We'll turn those on. So they will fly up into the air. Look at that. That is that is pretty cool, actually. So you can sort of get this beautiful, like, sort of spotlight. Uh, do like a movie premiere kind of lot or something like that. It's really cool. And if we actually jump into uh, build mode here... One of the... I think these ones... I don't know if they all have it, but uh, if you swap these... It actually has, like, this sort of symbols on them so you know like when they have like the bat symbol or something actually does it oh, it doesn't change it in this unless oh. <laughs> so I, mean, I mean i had the symbol up in the sky but yeah so you can actually change it have like the symbol on there which is kind of funny uh and then we also have this this item here is actually really cool so i had nowhere to put this literally everything else is inside and i'm just kind of holding off on showing it to you right now so this is really cool so this is what is it actually called um i don't know it's like a koi pond kind of thing so you can stock it with Koi, piranhas, sharks, or sprites. So if we do sprites, they're like little flying wisp things. Uh, you can also, if we just remove them. So if you add in uh, sharks. Uh, oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to need more money. <laughs> I'm going to need more money to be able to do this. Uh, stock with the sharks. There you go. So they can swim around and you can sort of play with them. You can accidentally slip in. You can die from this. This is a new death. Uh, well, I don't know if it's a new death or if it's just considered drowning, but uh, you can definitely die in here. And if you add natural cleaner as well, it's like little snails that appear around here. And if you don't feed whatever's in here, they can actually end up eating the snails. So there's a little bit of fun stuff there. So it's a cool item uh, that these plants actually change with the seasons as well, if you have uh, seasons installed. And they have a few different colors of it here as well. And actually, there's also a few little item slots uh, on it. So if you want to put some stuff on it, uh, will this fit? Yeah. There's a slot there. There's one over this side. There's one over there. So you can actually put a couple of things. Obviously, probably not like a potted plant, but you can put some other stuff on there, uh, like a gnome or something. <gasps> oh, no, the lot. <laughs> don't, don't look. Don't look. I'm not ready yet. Actually, I think we are ready to go inside. Oh, yeah. So this here, I don't know if I showed this before. This is like... Um, a roof another roof decoration so you like put it at the end of a roof or something like that obviously not suited here for this this sound stage but that goes there oh yeah actually around the side we have new graffiti 
So these are, this is just one item, but I've just put up a bunch of varieties of it, which I think is all of them. So just new wall graffiti that you can sort of place along the building. And this here is a, uh, just a vent, a decorative vent that just goes there. I, I mean, you can put it wherever you want. So that's that one there. And I think that's all we've got outside. Everything else is on the inside, which, man, I had fun building this. So this is my build by overview for Get Famous. How cool does this look? I had so much fun with this. This isn't actually everything. I couldn't actually fit everything in. So I'm going to show you the items that we couldn't fit in first just because uh, everything else is already prepared. Um, so if we go to show all, I'm going to filter by Get Famous. It's basically just... Uh, huge set pieces because like obviously a lot of the stuff co that comes and get famous are like these so these are you know sets for the acting career uh so a lot of them are really big so like some of them i couldn't fit in uh because of that for example i couldn't fit in the there is a giant like pirate ship uh set there's also a bunch of like sort of sci-fi set stuff uh so you sort of you what you basically do and what i've done with the rest of the lot is you sort of place pieces together like, there's different pieces. You do do stuff like this. It's actually really cool. Obviously, there's not a lot of application for a regular house build. But you can totally, like, have fun with these. Uh, and sort of, you know, place them together like this and start building some cool things. I mean, you could, I guess, turn it into a house build. Uh, so there's a lot of cool set pieces like that, if that's what you're into. Uh, that's all the sci-fi ones. I mean, there's more. Sorry, that's not all of them. But it's basically, you get the general idea. And then there's, like, this cannon. Uh, so this, this cannon goes ahead with the pirate ship. Which is pretty cool. I wish I really wish I had more room. I don't really have room to show these off. So this is obviously the back of the pirate ship. And actually, what's cool about this? So I'm going to put this here so you can see. Uh, no, there's no colors. I was just checking. So this one's actually kind of cool. So it comes in two parts. You basically build the pirate ship set. So you'd have one here, one there. And then they have a little fence piece that goes along with it as well. It's in here somewhere. Uh, so actually, this is cool. Uh, so yeah, here's the fence piece. So you'd get this and then you put it together like this. And then it sort of joins pirate ship together. Now this item is cool because this is actually designed to sort of place here underneath the stairs. And you can see when it puts it in, it actually cuts out a little bit down. So it like sort of steps down and fits in there. And it gives it a little bit of dimension, which I thought was really, really cool. And then you can also use... Uh, so the cannons obviously are designed to go with that. What, did I lose my cannon? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I designed to go ahead with this. So you could like put them through these little spots here because they fit perfectly with that. And like, like, well, like, this is kind of how this stuff works. So you can obviously use this all as like set pieces or separately. I'm trying to find the, um, there's like the little steering wheel. There's also barrels and that as well that go with this. And a lot of this stuff can also be used as just, you know, obviously decorative items wherever you want. Uh, there's the steering. Where's the steering? Oh, it's locked because my sim doesn't have the stuff. So then get this wheel out. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Can I, so this is actually pretty cool. So some of the items will have like item slots where things can snap on top. Uh, that will, so obviously in, uh, the acting career, the wheel will spawn up here and your sim will go up there to do an interaction. So your sims can actually walk up on this. I believe we should be able to just say, go here on the iron. Oh my God. Okay. You know what? Let me just teleport her in. Uh, so if I just <laughs> teleport here, uh, so we can actually just say, go here and they can actually walk up and around this thing, even though it's a big object. Uh, and then you can also just like, you know, play around with the wheel, which is up there. And obviously you can put the wheel down the bottom if you want. But like all of this stuff is still interactive and it's pretty cool like that you can do that with it. Uh, so this is like the pirate ship stuff that I wasn't able to fit in here just because there's just not room. And then obviously I showed you the sci-fi stuff. And so a lot of this stuff um, is, like I said, interactive. Uh, so the stuff that comes with the uh, acting career, a lot of it has uh, that kind of stuff. So actually... On that note of them being interactive, I didn't really put any of these around. The stage markers. So if you put these down, they have a bunch of different sizes. So there's those two. There's this one that requires two sims. And I think there's some more. Or maybe it's just those three. So what these actually allow you to do... Oh, no, and there's this one as well. The larger one. So what these allow you to do is on your home lot or whatever other lot you want, you can actually just click on them and do any sort of acting uh, move that you want. So we could do... Uh, let's see. Let's do. We could do risky dance act one. So they'll go to the marker, and then obviously you could like set up a camera here or something, and just like do like acting stuff, or you just use it for practicing. So then they go like this, do the sweet dance moves, and then same with these. They have different ones. So this is a, a different type of one. This is death scene, safe death scene, risky death scene. This one requires two sims, so we can't actually do it. And same with that one. But you can do like sword fights and all that kind of stuff, which is really really cool. So you can have a lot of fun with those. So those are those markers there. Uh, obviously, it's not, I guess it's not exactly like build by kind of thing. 
in that in the traditional sense but you know i think it's worth showing you uh and then other stuff that i didn't get in here i think that's pretty much it oh there's actually all these giant things so if you're wondering what these are if you jump into your game and like why do i have these giant like kids things uh all of these so one of the acting career things that you actually do is like a kids show and for the kids show they have a giant set so it's kind of like the sim is tiny so like you know that's how it works you get like a big rainbow as well uh so you can have a lot of fun with these things i don't know where you'd use these outside of the kids set um but you could but something cool that comes with it is the rug so it has like these giant void critter cards like playing cards but hidden underneath these and this is something that you should always look out for uh there's actually a whole bunch of different recolors of it that come with a bunch of stuff so there's even one now it's just like a bunch of stage markings and then there's this one as well that's like a you know a walkway you got this one just like a bunch of tape that's on the ground so a lot of different ones and this one is one of my favorites it's just floor cracks just like a broken floor we don't have this in the game yet now we do because we have a lot of like wall crack decals but now we have this i think this is awesome and then also void credit cards if you want it <laughs> and that theme like that's something you should always check so especially especially on rugs so this rug is also really cool just because it looks old and it's a bit distressed but if you go through it there's like non-distressed versions there's a bunch of other ones in here even different sizes, loads of different types, like all hidden away. So do check through them. Uh, I don't think that that doesn't have anything. Uh, and then these as well are pretty cool. A lot of this stuff we've already placed around the lot. But this is actually really cool. So at first you might be like, what the hell is this? Uh, but the idea is you do this and you sort of put them together. Whoops. Uh, like so. Uh, and like that. But then there's a whole slew of different ones in here loads and loads of different ones so you can actually sort of mix and match them as well uh you could do some interesting stuff with it i don't know if i would suggest doing what i've just done because that looks terrible but that's also there so that's sort of hidden away as well uh so i just wanted to bring that to your attention uh as something that's pretty cool too so i think that's all the items that i couldn't actually fit in here and i guess that's probably saying something there's a lot of items uh so much so that i couldn't fit them oh actually this awning i don't know if i place this oh i did place it somewhere yeah, it's over there in my set that I built. <laughs> um, I don't know if I placed these anywhere. Oh, yes, I did as well. No, yeah, okay, I think everything else is placed. So, let's go ahead and go through stuff. So, I've kind of separated stuff out into uh, themes and styles. So, this is one of the themes of the objects. It's kind of like a postmodern, mid-century style of item. These will go really well with the Bowling Night stuff pack. A lot of those items look like this kind of style, uh, which is really cool. So... I really love all these items. Like, we got a... Oh, this dining table? Like, this is awesome. I'm probably going to use this so much. I love this. It's so simple, but it's really, really nice. And then we obviously have the dining chairs to go with it. These all... So, obviously, this whole set of items comes with a bunch of matching swatches. They're all going to be the same sort of colors, which is really cool. I actually really like that couch as well. And this rug is also really nice. So, this is the sort of zebra rug that has... Oh, you even have, like, a leopard print one. This reminds me of Sims 1. I remember, was it like Sims 1 or Sims 2 had this sort of leopard print texture? Uh, so we also have this new flooring, which is actually the Wild West wooden flooring. But I really like it. Like, it, it's got some really nice tones to it. Uh, you can get a really sort of lofty vibe from it. Oh, that's even quite nice as well. Uh, and then we have a bunch of new, like, sort of dresses over this way. A lot of fun colors on them. Uh, new sort of uh, storage shelf side table kind of thing. New end table here. It's quite nice. Got this lamp as well, which I quite like too. Uh, this bed, which uh, got some more sort of normal colors and a little bit more fun as well. This is one of my favorite items too. This sort of corner table. If it's perfectly in corners like this. We have not had this before in the game. I don't know why it's so exciting, but it really is. One thing that really sucks about it though, and I don't know why they did this. And every time they do something like this, I'm like, why? Why, why is this vase stuck on top of it? Why does it have to be part of the item? Because that means I can't put anything else on it. Like, why, why would you do that? Uh, like, why? Why wouldn't you just let me put my own thing on there? Anyway, it's a really cool item. I, I just wish it wasn't like that. Uh, then we have a new like, sort of side table, uh, I guess, uh, right here. Or like a buffet, I guess you could call it. Uh, a lot of fun colors on it as well. I think... Oh, this is just like another sort of shelving side unit. I think there's a bookcase somewhere. Um, and then we have a new lounge chair here as well. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's pretty cool, but I don't know how much I'd use it. Uh, this coffee table as well. I really like this. It's really nice. A uh, really nice style. This coffee table is also pretty cool. It's like a double-decker coffee table. We've got a new lamp on top of it right here. 
which has a lot of fun colors as well to it. Like some of these have some really, like I'm telling you guys, you got to go through the color swatches in this pack. There's a lot of like really fun hidden items. Uh, we've got this new bar here as well. There's quite a few new bars actually. And even like the, the back detailing of it is really nice. All the glasses and these new parcels, which I also really like these parcels. I think this set of items is really, really nice. I really like it. And we have a couple of new wallpapers up here. So this is just like a concrete sort of one. Uh, has a few, you know, different variants on it using that blue one. And you'll also notice if you have the graphic settings turned up, uh, there are some, it is a little bit shiny in certain lights as well, which is really nice. That's a cool texture to it. These bricks as well are brand new. This has a lot of variants as well. Uh, so sort of dark color ones, more brown, uh, sort of whitish, and then obviously the sort of red brick that we got there. Also got this new potted plant here in the middle, which I quite like. I think I'm going to use that one quite a lot. And we got some new windows here on the wall, uh, which are actually really nice as well. So these are sort of like more... Oh, I should have done that as blue. I quite like that with the wall. Maybe this should be like a red to go with the bricks. I don't know. Bit of fun. Uh, yeah, I really like these actually. They look uh, really nice. They sort of uh, fit in with that sort of postmodern style as well. Also, this window. I think this is going to be one of my new favorite windows. Uh, just, it's large, it's simple, and it's really, really nice. It comes in just blacks and whites and then a bunch of other variants as well. Really, really like that. And we also have this really cool poster uh, that has a whole bunch of different movie posters on it. Like, there's loads and loads in here. So, if there's something you want, it's probably going to be in there. Now, we also have, obviously, a bunch of studio lights everywhere. So, uh, I just put them around a lot. I put a bunch of cameras everywhere as well. This is the higher end camera. This is the nicer one. You can actually use this camera to do stuff. So if you like click on it, you can go adjust or operate. That's kind of about it though. And then all these lights are just lights. So they are just in the lighting category. Uh, so if I jump over, I'll just sort of clone them and then come into the category just so you can see them. Because uh, I've got so many of them around the lot. I'll just quickly show you which ones we actually have. So we have the sort of single uh, stage light there. We have this one that's like sort of more for photographs, which I think I've used around the place as well. Then we have a big softbox light here as well. And then we have the double stage light one. And then we have this sort of throne thing. Not throne, I don't know. Like, uh, what do you call it? What is, what is it called? Medieval Brazier Floor Lamp. Uh, for the medieval sets or wherever you want. Uh, so those are those. And then we have these sort of ceiling stage lights as well. Uh, so those are just hanging from the ceiling. These are really cool, actually. Uh, it really does make the place feel <laughs> more like a set. Uh, so yeah, we have that sort of more expensive camera. Then we have the, the cheaper camera here. This is sort of the entry-level camera. Well, entry-level camera. It's still like a huge-ass camera. $500. Yeah, right. If that was real life, this would be multiple thousands of dollars. Um, so that's one there. That one there, sorry. Uh, which is really cool. I really love these. I love this. This is so. It's such a cool pack just to build. Just to build. Like, building this is so much fun. I didn't record any of it though, I probably should have. Oh well, whatever. Um, yeah, so this camera has a few colors as well. I don't know why you'd want a blue camera. I don't know. I like the, the default one. We also have this new sort of director's looking chair, which is classic. How could you have this pack without a chair looking like this? Oh, it even has a gold one, a white and gold one to match this whole area. That's cool. So that's all those. Uh, we also have, oh, this wallpaper here actually, which we get a better view of, oh, this side. So this is a new wallpaper, which I've used for all the back of the sets uh, that I've built. It is actually called soundstage paneling. So it's like, like a, just a wood paneling. I mean, you could use it anywhere. And we've also got this little window here, which is quite cool. Just a tiny little window, which I think is really, really nice as well. Uh, and then we have uh, these new wallpapers in here. So we've got like a small brick and a larger brick, the same sort of wallpaper, just two different sizes. And we've got this brand new door, which I really wish that the door handle, or we had a version where the door handle didn't have a giant star all over it. I like it. I do like it, but I wish it was a little bit more simple as well. And then we have this new wall light as well. There's so much stuff, man. New wall light just there. We've got this brand new tub, which I really, really like. It's so shiny. Really nice. And that shower as well. We've got, we got two new bathroom sets, actually. This shower is really nice as well. And this sink, which is like sort of a suspended sink off the wall. Uh, but if you move it out, it even comes with a pipe. Look at that. Anyway, I put that back in. Also, I really like this sink. I love that when they have like the glass bowl above the above the counter. We've got this new mirror. I don't think this mirror particularly fits in this little room, but I had to put it somewhere. So it's got a bunch of colors on it as well, which is really nice. So that's the new bathroom here. Oh, actually these things here, very similar to the ones from... Where else were these in? What pack did they come in? There was some, you know, some other pack. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find them. I don't know. They came in like another pack as well, but we also get another set of these, uh, which are just like 
I don't know, vertical beams for small, medium, and tall walls. Uh, so all three heights. So we get those. Pretty cool. The nice just like little detail that we can add in around the place. Uh, so over this side now, so this was like the sort of postmodern area. Like this is all the postmodern items, mid-century. Over here is the just absolutely glamorous and opulent. We got marble flooring, white and gold, everything. Everything is just over the top. It's golden and everything. So obviously you can see everything here. We've got this new bed here, which is just crazy. Look, look at this thing. You can you can go all out with it, and we got all these new uh, sort of shelves as well, uh, new mirror just here. We got these new room dividers as well, actually. So these have a few different patterns in them as well, so it's not just the same pattern all the way through. So you can have a little bit of fun with those. Uh, so the flooring as well, the marble. I actually really we finally have some actual nice like marble flooring in the game. Like before, we've had a bunch of marble flooring, but it's not been that great. I don't, at least I don't think it has been. Especially some of these ones. There's some really interesting ones in here. You're gonna have fun with. Like, look at that. That's crazy. So we had this one from Base Game. I've never, I've never really been a fan of it. So I'm actually quite, I actually really like the new ones a lot better. Um, so that's that flooring there. Uh, new couches. I really like these couches. I don't know how much I'm going to use them though. Because the only problem I have with it is we have so many couches that have that sort of pattern on them already. Not that one. That's, that's a new one. But they have that sort of pattern on it. I re really wish we just had more smooth looking couches. I mean, they're really nice. Don't get me wrong. I really, really like them. I just, I'm just saying I don't know how much I'll use them personally. Oh, I like the pink actually on that one. So we got basically a whole living room set. Uh, all of these have the same sort of colors. If you really wanted to do those sort of zebra, got black and gold zebra patterns, you can. Uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun with those. And we got a new dining set here. This is, uh, this is another new dining table. Not as fun as the other one. I love the other. I love the other dining table so much. And uh, so we got new sort of regular dining chairs. And we got the giant head of the table chairs, which I really like. And this new little flower, uh, little flower vase here which is cool as well this thing is really cool actually so this is actually a stereo uh so you know you can play music from it and all that kind of stuff and it has a bunch of different colors so this could either go over here in the post-modern mid-century i don't know why i keep saying both i just mid-century area it could go over there or i thought it fit quite well in here when i sort of recolored it to the white and gold uh, which i thought was quite nice so we have these new uh well we have this new wallpaper here as well go over this kind of crazy it's really loud, really in your face. Uh, it's a bit of fun though. Uh, and then we have these new curtains here as well, obviously to match all the windows, has all that kind of stuff. Smaller size there too. These windows are actually really cool. Uh, so on the inside, this, this is what they look like on the inside. On the outside, they look like that. They had like the sort of rounded part to the top of it, which I thought was quite nice. So we have a few different sizes of those. There's a single one there. And then there's like a triple one over here, uh, like so. And we have this new little bar as well, new bar stools. I, like, I, really, I really like this set of items. Like it's so in your face, so opulent. It is cool though. Uh, so we have this new bookcase as well that goes along with it. Another shelf here, which is apparently the perfect size to put the awards that you can win from the acting career uh, in here. And we've got this new marble wallpaper as well. Again, totally in your face, totally all up in your business, but you can have fun with it. Absolutely. And another little lounge chair behind here. Like there's a lot of new sofas and a lot of uh, chairs like that. Now, uh, we also have new columns that are hidden away in the wall there. So these are some nice new columns. Really, really fancy. Can keep them a little bit more subtle or you can like it like I had them get the gold, get the gold right up in your face as well. And then we also have these columns, which are just concrete. Uh, is that what it's called? Oh no, it's called a concrete column, which have a few colors, pretty standard. It's just a block and I've used those a lot of places around here as well, um, which is cool. And we also have this chandelier. There's a couple of variants of this one. There's this one and then the sort of lower hanging one as well. Uh, and I guess while I'm here, there's also this ceiling light just here. A few more subtle versions or like more in your face, bright gold as well. So a little bit of fun. Now these are pretty cool. So this is all, I've put this together myself. Uh, these are all separate pieces like this. So you have the corner pieces and then you have the straight edge pieces and you have the center piece. So obviously these can be used, like you could use it in a room like this, or they're also designed to work really well at the bottom of a swimming pool, but I don't actually have room for a pool on the slot. So I didn't do that. Whoops, didn't mean to take a screenshot. Uh, so that's all that stuff there. Um, then we have the bathroom set that goes with it. You may have seen. Um, I had fun with this one. So we got the new toilet, the golden throne. You can sort of make it a little bit more subtle or you just go full gold. We have the new winged bathtub. It's like a swan as well. Like that is really cool. It's really cool. I don't know. Again, I don't know how much I'm going to use these items, but they're, they're just fun. And we have these really fancy, this really fancy towel rack as well. I mean, look at this thing. 
That's fancy. And the new sink here as well to go with it all. A lot of fun with these things. And that shower as well. This shower is actually really nice. I think even just if you use it like this more subtle one, I think it's just a really nice looking shower too. So that is that, uh, that, that sort of marble flooring again at the bottom. There's not much else to show in there. I think we already had that lamp somewhere else. Uh, this is actually just a pedestal thing as well. We saw this uh, in my Let's Play. Actually, I don't know if the Let's Play is already out or what order it's going in. It's just a block that you can put stuff on top of. Um, so this here. This is actually a skill object. Uh, this is a Mixmaster music station where you can do the music production skill. So if I go to uh, live mode, you can produce new tracks and all that. So that's what that is. So that's actually a... I believe that's a new skill, right? Let me just double check that. I'm pretty sure it is. Sorry, I haven't gotten really fully in deep stuck into it yet. Acquired media production skill. So yeah, that's what that is right there. Uh, which is really cool. So I just put that there because I thought it looked kind of interesting in front of the set. Uh, so that covers this area. Actually, I guess while we're here, we got these new green screen objects. So this is a giant green screen that covers a whole set. Or you can get the smaller green screen, which is still colossal, uh, right here. Now you can scale these down just using the regular object scale cheat. Uh, and they will work scaled down like this. But the green screen objects, when you go into live mode... They're actually really cool. So what you can do, you can click on the green screen, set a background. So if I was like, I want a cityscape background here, which is cool. So that means when you're like, you know, looking through the windows, you have like a background to it and all that. Um, go away. I don't want a welcome wagon. I'm busy. Uh, but what that, uh, when you scale it down, it doesn't work that way. So if I were to do this, the uh, background projection is still full size, which is a bit of a shame. But, you know, you can still use a scaled down green screen. You know what? We should set some backgrounds on these. Let's do the western set there, western town. Look at that. It's a bit of fun. And then I did a little ruin set over here. I don't know if we really have like... Oh, post-apocalyptic city. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and then uh, I got like a million sets over here. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I guess city. Anyway, I'll just leave them. Anyway, so yeah, so those are actually really cool. You can have fun with them. Uh, obviously, they're not really ideal for everyday home use, but there they are. Uh, so that is... The uh, mid-century and the opulent items in this area. And then uh, we're going to move on to... That's kind of most of the regular live mode stuff that you would use. Oh, actually, no. we got this area here. So this is all the walk-in wardrobe stuff, which is really, really cool. So I've set it up as like a little set. I don't know what they'd be filming here, but you could do something. Uh, so this is... Uh, these are all separate items. So we have... Basically, it comes in... A few parts. It comes in a shoe rack one, and then a clothing rack one, which is here. And you can sort of mix and match them however you want. And each of them, uh, each of the colors, well, not each of the colors, but each of these two have two different shoe colors, so you can mix them up. And uh, then same with the black ones. And then some of the others don't, but the first two have a few different colors. And same with this one, there's a few different colors, so it doesn't all look same, same. Uh, so there's those two items, and then I've just arranged them here in this area. Some down that side, some down this side, two in the middle. Uh, then I've also got, so this is the new uh, sort of makeover wardrobe platform or whatever it's called, as I guess it's called. <laughs> and that is where your sim can sort of get up on it and ask for an outfit so someone else can change them. Or you can update someone else's outfit on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's that. And then this rug, I already showed this rug off earlier. It was just this one here, but with a different color. And we have these new curtains, which are really good for if you want to make like a movie theater. Uh, it's like perfect for that, but I've just used them as like a background. I have a few different colors as well for them, which is really nice. And this flooring, I actually really like this one. So these tiles, love the texture on them. Uh, so they have a few different colors. They have like a white and gold. They have a red and gold, which I think is really nice. And that black one we've got, and then like a blue one as well. So that is all that stuff. Uh, and then we've also got these wall brace items, just a decorative piece that you can sort of put on a wall to make like a look like a little bit more structurally sound, I guess, or even like a make it make a big warehouse kind of thing. So that I thought that was really cool. Oh, and down here, just decorative prop signage, which has a few different colors as well. A decorative piece. So uh, I guess we'll head over to my street set, which I thought was pretty <laughs> I thought was pretty cool. So I've set this up so it looks like they're sort of filming something here because I've got the camera on a dolly or not a dolly on rails. Um, or is it a dolly? Yeah, it is a dolly. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this is one big piece here, so this all comes together. And then I've put a bunch of the other production gear behind this. So these are all separate items here that just go together to make it all look a little bit more realistic. Uh, uh, half of this stuff is decorative, some of it's interactive. Now, so this whole set area, these are all like big set pieces. Not all of them, actually. I picked the one thing that wasn't. So a lot of these are facades that are mix and match 
like this. So I've just put them together. Uh, you can see, I don't mean to delete that. I put them together like this. So these are all separate stuff. All of these here are separate. So I put them in this place. Most of them have a color or two to choose from as well, so you can sort of uh, vary them around. And then there's also, so you, what you might notice as well, if you look closely, the uh, curb actually is a little bit of a step up from ground level, which is really cool. So that's actually a piece of sidewalk that you put in there uh, and then you sort of piece it together, which is actually really cool for a couple of reasons. Uh, we can, as well, I do like a lot of move object stuff uh, where we raise stuff up and now we have a piece that can act as like a floor. If we move it up, we can have like a floor that's like raised up and you'll be able to see it. I don't know. I, I found that kind of cool. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, so that's all sidewalk individual pieces. We've got all the facades. Then I've actually built my own facade out of wall. This here is all built out of walls. But except th so this is a big new sort of it almost looks like the front of a movie theater. So I thought I'd create like what looks like a little theater set here. So I've used this big piece on the front and then I've used these new awnings. So you can see here. Uh, Little glass awnings, which are pretty cool, over these doors. So these doors are actually the bouncer doors. Uh, so when you go into live mode, bouncers will show up in front of these. Well, actually, in a residential lot, you can hire a bouncer, then they'll show up and let you through. And I thought that was kind of appropriate for a movie theater a facade to have, like, bouncer doors. And then this little area is just like a little ticket booth. Actually, these are new windows here, uh, which I need to show you somewhere. So over here, they come with a big frame. Which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, there is another one as well. If I just clone that, hang on. There's a larger version of it here. So there's a couple of these windows, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, so those are those two. Uh, yeah, so this is my little set. Uh, up the top here, these things are special effects machines, essentially. So you can go visual effects and say, I don't know, I want like... Actually, I think... Okay, so this... I was just trying to figure it out. This item here is the visual effects item, which I've placed down. So if you click on this, you can go set all of the visual effects in the lot. So let's say, let's set up to autumn leaves. So she should do that. Okay, stop doing your production. Come over here. Oh, actually, did that just set or? Oh, I don't think she can get to it actually. Hang on, sorry. Put this over here. Whoops, how did I get that bed? So this, also a couple colors. Oh, I think it was facing the wrong way. I think it's like, it was facing towards that. Anyway, let's go do, uh, autumn leaves. Let's see if she'll come over and do it now. So she'll come over, she'll press a few buttons, and then what we should see if we go up a level is these starting to, yep, starting to drop leaves. So you can sort of position this above an area where you'd want this visual effect to take place. So then the idea was we've set up the camera here. So we've got some nice autumn leaves falling. We've got this sort of uh, street set here, and they're all filming in the area, which I thought was really cool. I, I think this is so much fun to build with. Uh, for build by overview, I think this is probably one of the most just fun packs to build. Obviously not a standard house in in this case, but you could obviously build a normal house with all this stuff. But I just went I just went out, I just went crazy and had a lot of fun with this stuff. Um, so a couple more facades around this way. Uh, then we've got um, what else we have? Oh, this bench is new as well. So it's like an advertising bench, like classic. Bunch of different variants on that. And what else? What else? What else? There's a microphone here. Apparently, so that's new. This is unlockable. Uh, it's just like uh, through the career, but you know, it's just like the other microphone that we already have uh, So that's there. We also have this camera here a rolling camera jib I don't believe that does anything. It just sort of looks cool, uh, which is right there And then we also have so yeah, that was pretty much the whole set here We do have this uh, sort of signage on the wall. That's something that I put there I thought it looked cool. Just add a little bit of detail to the area and over this way we have I've built a club set like a bar or a club kind of thing and we've got brand new stairs here and new railing all glowing and colorful they come in a bunch of different colors as well like they just glowing light in color uh, right there so red obviously the, all the fences come in matching colors too so if you wanted those you could do that like so and same with the railing but I can't be bothered to change that right now so that comes in all those colors and then we have some more of this furniture which you could obviously match in if you wanted to with this sort of opulent set uh, over here, but I've put them in the club. Let me scroll back over. This lot is huge. Uh, so that's this area here. So we got yeah, we got a new coffee table, uh, which comes in a bunch of colors. New armchairs here. New love seat. New end table as well. Uh, we got those same bar stools from the other bar, and then we also got this much larger bar too, which is really really nice. Uh, those drinks behind are not new. Another of those mirrors, they're just from uh, different packs, but I thought it looked cool in that area. Also, these wall lights here, these are new. And these are more of those vertical columns or vertical, I don't know, whatever things that we had. 
Uh, the lights in the middle aren't new either. Those are from Spa Day. And that's not new. That's from Dine Out. But I thought it looked cool. A uh, bunch of cameras that I lined up there in front of it as well. So that's that area. Uh, that's one of the new wallpapers behind, like the dark bricks. Upstairs, we had a couple of new things as well, actually. So this here is a big new uh, TV that goes on a wall. Obviously designed for like a movie theater. It looks like a projection screen, as you can see. Uh, so you could build like a little movie theater. And then this here is like a big logo sign. This is logo wall sign. It has no variance. It just is a thing. Um, oh, actually, we had that arrow over here somewhere that I didn't even mention. So this is actually giant normally. It's like this. A big arrow that points. I just put it there. I thought it looked cool. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that was my little street set with all that stuff through there. Uh, we had the club set. Over this way, we have the western set. This is really cool. Uh, so obviously this is all different pieces as well. So this is a separate piece. This is the uh, the storefront or the saloon front, sorry, to the, you know, the saloon. So it's like a piece here on that side and then it also has like an interior set here. So you could separate it if you wanted to or you can join it up to the rest of the set, which is this big piece. And then I've actually put the matching bar uh, right here uh, for that. So all of this is just decoration. And then we have a few more decorative pieces out this way. So this is a separate well uh, that goes there. And we have this little cooking set here. These are all just decorative things. And then we have this little, what is this? Saloon pop? Prop. I don't know why I said pop. Uh, which is just like a little uh, front of set kind of thing. So all those things go together. We also have those barrels that I showed you earlier. Uh, so I've just put, arranged it into this little set area here. Which I thought looked, again, I thought it looked really cool. I think it looks really cool. I had so much fun with this. Uh, here we actually have, this set is like a jail set or jail cell set. So this is all in one set piece right there. And that goes together and then I sort of arranged it this way. I put some flooring that I thought looked appropriate with it, put some lights around it. Uh, and then we've got over this way. I love these ones. These are really cool. So this is the uh, obviously ruins ones. So lots of big set pieces here. <laughs> the end of days set. These are two separate facades that I've put together here. Uh, of buildings that just go in like that. I don't know. No, no colors. I was just saying, I don't know if they have colors. Then this is like a big collapsed side of a building. Uh, a ruined library set, it says. Uh, which, again, thought looked really cool. And then this tent. I love this tent. It's purely decorative, but it just looks so good. Look at it. It's just like a top. Actually, is it decorative? I think so. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm double checking. Double checking. Uh, yeah, I thought it looked cool, so I put it there. <laughs> uh, so that's that set there as well. Those are those new items. Uh, then we have, uh, I think that's looking pretty good. Oh, we have a column in the middle here. This is new. Uh, so if you can't tell, I really like this stuff. Obviously, a lot of this stuff is decorative. But then obviously a lot of this, like all these items here are all obviously normal items. Normal items in there, normal items in here. But it's just like we have a lot of physically large decorative pieces, which I think would be hard to use anywhere else besides like a movie set. But it's really fun to build sets. Uh, I had so much fun doing that. <laughs> all right, so that looks like that's kind of all that stuff. Upstairs, I kind of just built catwalks because I thought it looked cool. Oh, speaking of catwalks, I didn't actually show you there is a new flooring that I believe is called catwalk flooring. And I don't think I used it anywhere. So let me just check that out. Yeah, here we go. The catwalk flooring. Actually, you're not really going to be able to see it. So if you run it lengthways, it sort of goes there. It's pretty dark up there, so I'll do it down here. Looks like that. Perfect for catwalks. And that's probably about it. Uh, and I think we got all the other flooring elsewhere. Actually, I don't think we got this anywhere. Like a honeycomb kind of flooring. It's called the hero. Oh, no, the villain flooring. This one's the hero flooring. Um, so yeah, few new floorings. Nothing nothing too groundbreaking with floorings or anything. I think the best thing to come out of floorings is the marble. Uh, I love all the marble. And I love these tiles as well. And also the wood flooring. Actually, all these four. The other three are probably a bit more use case dependent. This flooring is actually not too bad. It's pretty standard looking. It's a big tile. I don't know about this one, though. I don't know if I'm going to use that a lot, but it's good. It's always good to have new flooring. Um, okay, so, I, I mean, look, honestly, if I missed something in here, I'm sorry, but there's just so much stuff. Uh, if you want to download this, let you can. But moving on, I at this point, I had built all, I had run out of room to build more sets, so I kind of just put everything else in a little area over this way, including uh, new doors. So this is one of the new doors, which I really, really like. This obviously goes with the mid-century uh, theme. So I just built like a little hallway area in here. Oh, there's a new like wall. This is a wall decoration that sticks on the wall. It's like wooden slats. Uh, it comes in, I'm going to build mode here. Uh, it comes in two by two. Well, not a two by two, but like a, a size, like a size like this. Bunch of different colors. I thought it was really cool. I just put it along the wall. Uh, and then we also have, so this room here, uh, all this stuff is the same. Like we've already seen the green screen. We've seen the flooring. This walling is a new one. This is like the soundproof walling. 
And then this is one big item. So this one here is... Can I really not clone that? Oh. Okay. I thought... It was... Okay. Uh, that should be... Where is that? Is it an activity? I don't actually know where to find that. Uh, it is somewhere in the catalog. Miscellaneous. Here it is. Can I, can you not clone this? I oh, actually just can't clone it. Okay, interesting. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, oh, I guess maybe because it can be upgraded. Anyway, so it has a lot of upgrades, which I'm not going to do here. I did in one of my preview videos where you can upgrade it, and as you upgrade it, you'll get you'll get like better lighting, you'll get a better microphone, the camera will change, like it'll all start looking completely different. It's actually really cool for gameplay, a really cool item. Uh, but that's kind of all you need to know for the build by overview. And we got more of those walking robe things over here. These are the styling chairs, which are actually really cool. So these, similar to the wardrobe platform, you can offer makeup to people, offer hairstyles, you can ask for hairstyles and all that kind of stuff. So by doing this, you can set the look of other sims in the world uh, and they will stay like that. So that's a lot of fun. Comes with a bunch of different colors as well uh, right there. And then we have these uh, wardrobe racks, which I really, really like. They're obviously like costume racks, because you can see there's like Santa costumes in there. Three, not three different. I don't know why I said, I was about to say three different colors. There's way more than three. It's just because I used three. So a bunch of different variants on them. Loads of different costumes. A lot of fun. I think you could do a lot of decorating with those. And then this room is really where I ran out of th places to put things, because this is just literal random. This is like the worst looking room, right? It's depressing. Uh, but anyway, it gets the point across. This chair... Every gaming YouTuber's chair ever. Uh, this one looks like mine. There we go. <laughs> actually, really cool that we got those now. So we can have these big gaming chairs everywhere. It's like perfect. And then these guys here are actually drones. Uh, so they are actually... You can make videos in the game with it. So you can do like... They follow your sim around, do some recording. Then you take them over to the video recording station and edit the videos. It's like it's a whole bunch of gameplay that goes with it. Uh, but for the purposes of this build by overview, not going to go into all that. So that's what they do. Uh, and then we have all these little decorative pieces. So you can see that they're displayed in a way that looks like, you know, you're trying to show them off. And that's because these are used in the uh, acting career when you film commercials and you're showing off new products. So that's why they look like this. But you can also just buy them and have them in your game. And then same with these. This is, this is just on the floor. I ran out of room. Void Critter, Void Bop Music. So obviously this is just a little decorative item that's used for commercials. Here's that uh, Brazier, Brazier thing. That we spoke about before. Uh, and then on the wall, I just got some decorations. I've got some swords, some crossing swords and all that. Uh, little decor. What is this? Anyway, simply Shelly. I don't even know what it, what, what is it for? Is it just to look cool? Cool. And we also have like the lightsaber. Sorry, not the lightsaber. The, what is it actually called? S Sigma sword. It's a, it's a lightsaber. The lightsaber sword. Uh, a few different colors on that as well, which is kind of fun. Uh, then in the hallway, I've actually gone ahead and put in... Uh, a bunch of stuff here as well. So this is just, all these here in the same frame are the same item. So it's like just different displays of like collectibles that are in them, which I think it's a really cool item. Uh, and then we also have this, these big sort of framed ones as well, which some of them have uh, posters in it. And actually what's cool, uh, so they're like collectible posters is the idea. Like this one is like, even looks like it's been folded up at some point and then they put it in the big frame. And then we've got a few more posters around here. And then there's a bunch of costume ones as well, which are really cool. Oh, there's like an Elvis one. Yeah, so those are really cool. That's all one item as well, uh, right there. And then we've got a new door just here. So these doors actually come with a bunch of different variants as well. A lot of fun colors. And same with the uh, the other doors we have here. So this is another new door as well. Loads of different colors. Another new door here. I actually love some of these doors. They look so good. Really, really like those. Okay, so... We've now finished everything on this level. Yep, there's more. Uh, so here we have the vault door. This is just a, this is just like a regular door. It places in a wall uh, wherever you want to sit, uh, where want to have it. It's not the vault object. So if we go into live mode, you can close and lock. I wonder if we, can we close and lock it from inside. So I built a giant vault, by the way, which we'll see in a second. Uh, there's a few more items down there. So can I? So if I go in and then I say, I guess you can't actually because you'd be on the outside, wouldn't you? Anyway, so you close and lock. No other sim can go through there. Maybe someone... I don't know if someone else in the same household can, but it's locked. Like, it is locked. I'm just going to teleport inside. Um, so inside my vault, we have uh, some of the new stairs... The other new stairs, actually. These big, beautiful marble stairs with the new another new fence around them as well. Uh, so that's all new. Then we also have uh, this new chandelier, which is obviously like a medieval kind of looking chandelier. Comes in a few different colors. Uh... 
don't know why there's a fence there. Sorry about that. Anyway, moving down, we have... I don't know where else to put these. These are new items as well. So these are the sleeping pods, which not only restore energy, but uh, they also, I believe, take care of the bladder and potentially hunger and some other needs as well. Uh, it, it basically takes care of any, everything while I sleep. So you can either buy the cheaper one here, which I've got over this side, which not only looks visually different, but it comes with no upgrades, and then you can pay for all the upgrades and put all the upgrades in, or you can buy the one that comes with all the upgrades, and it comes in gold, or white and gold. And so yeah, those are sleeping pods, you can just jump in them like that. They're a bit weird, they're a classic like, weird Sims item that I don't know how I feel about. It's obviously not realistic, but if you wanted it, there you go, they sort of float and do stuff and... Oh yeah, so you can see here, taking care of bladder, taking care of hunger, I think as well it was a little bit, potentially. Oh no, maybe not. Anyway, so that it's pretty cool that it does that. Anyway, moving down further into the vault, we have another new item. We have this giant fountain. This is to scale. I haven't resized it or anything, but it's this awesome giant fountain. I think that's so cool. That's going to be really, really good for like mansions and everything. It's just so commanding and takes up so much space. I think it looks awesome. Then we also have this like T-Rex skull. Comes in gold and just regular colors as well. Like normal T-Rex skull colors, or you can get the gold one. And I decided to put it here in the vault because it's it's like $2,000. I mean, this is our vault. It's just a big room underground. And then further deeper in the vault, we have another vault door. These new windows that we saw earlier. And then we have this, which is the vault object, uh, which is also really cool. Has a lot of gameplay associated with it. Uh, I won't go into too much of it, but basically... Uh, you can add money to your vault. How much money do I have? I have $45,000. I'll add $40,000. Oh, okay. I clicked cancel. Uh, you do this. So it's a place to like store your money physically. You get to see it. If you add a little bit of an amount in, it looks like... It, like So if I do this, you can see there's tons and tons of gold bars in here. If I go ahead and say, uh, take money from vault, let's say 39000 Um the amount, there's much less money there, there's less gold bars, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if I take even more, what if I take 9999 and leave one simoleon in there? Oh, okay, that's the minimum amount. One simoleon is apparently a bunch of gold bars. Anyway, so it sort of has a few different stages. You can do that, and of course you can woohoo in the money pile, all that kind of stuff. But again, this is a build by overview, so not so much looking into that. But I think that is actually all the items in uh, Get Famous. Actually, I think there's a couple more things. Uh... Actually, there is, there, no, there's new stuff in, in build mode as well. There's a new freeze uh, up here that I've used. Comes in a few different colors. It just, it looks like this. Okay, sorry, the camera's all over the place. Looks like that. It's pretty standard. Uh, there is that new pool trim as well, which I'll get out now. So we put the pool here. There's a brand new pool trim to put on that. A little bit famous. It's marble. A little bit famous. I don't know. A little bit glitzy. It's got a marble one. And I think that is probably it now. Oh, and then there's, of course, a bunch of pre-made rooms, as always. Oh, actually, something I should note as well after this saves. This door here, you can't clone this and you can't find it anywhere in the catalog. Uh, but you can find it if you do bb.show hidden objects. There's actually quite a few of them. Actually, I don't know if I need to do testing cheats first, did I? Oh, no, we're good. Uh, so if we go here, we're filtered by Get Famous. So those doors are actually hidden away uh, for whatever reason, but there's a few of them here. Hangar style door, the 1200 each. So you can just put them in like that. I don't know why they're hidden. Um, like there's a, there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here that's also hidden. Of course, naturally. Um, what the difference between these is? Are some of these are already upgraded? Or are these just... I don't know why there's like four different ones. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, get rid of those. Uh, yeah, so there's a bunch of other hidden stuff as well, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, as for other things, I think we did everything. We looked at all the columns. There's no new plants. I don't think there's any new terrain paint. Uh, we did the roof. We did the roof decorations. There's a new one of those. So I think we just wanted to look at the rooms now. Uh, so I'm just going to demolish this lot. I'm sorry. Goodbye. It's a beautiful lot, but it is gone. So there's a bunch of new pre-made rooms, as per usual. So we're just going to get them out and have a look. So if that's something that you uh, like to use, you can, of course, just pick these out. They come in a bunch of different colors as well, but I'm just going to place them out to get an idea. And you can also, there's even some um, brand, like you can even place some movie sets from in here as well. I don't think they have all of them. Oh, like they even have a home theater one. Actually, this one's cool if you get in the, the classic theater colors. So this is what I was talking about by making your own theater. Like they have the chairs in there, they've got the curtains. I think that one's pretty cool. Uh, and we've also got, so then they also have a bunch of movie sets, which is really cool. Or like TV, sh TV sets as well. So this one here, for example, 
got like all the stuff set up like that, little kitchen area. I thought that one was really cool, little green screen around the side there. So, and then there's a whole bunch of other ones as well. Uh, so here's the western set, kind of similar to the one that I had built. Uh, whoops, around this way. Oh, they even have like a little jail cell over here as well. That's cool. Actually, where did, what, when did these, they must have added these jail bars in here as well at some point. Oh, uh, like they even put a little, little chairs in there as well. Nice. Yeah, so there's a, like a whole bunch of pre-made rooms uh, as per usual. Uh, hang on, let me go. I like how most of these are from other packs that I've never used as well. I think there's like, what's this one? Oh, this one's cool. <laughs> I don't think I haven't actually seen all of these yet. Let's just get out a few of them. So you got like a living room, a few different like living rooms and a bedroom, a couple of green screens behind it, and over here, what have we got? We've got like a a jail, a bar, and like I guess like a lunch break room <laughs> for like some TV show setup. That's pretty cool. So, oh yeah, here's actually a good look at the sci-fi stuff that we are looking at earlier. So this is the kind of stuff that you can actually put together if you want with the sci-fi. And if you go in here and set the green screen to, I assume, a sci-fi one. Cityscape. I don't know, I don't know what would you use for sci-fi. Medieval castle? Maybe cityscape? I guess cityscape. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That, like, that's what the stuff you can do. Actually, these up here as well, we didn't look at these before. These are also visual effects uh, machines. So you could set these to something. Let's go to cherry blossoms. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> so those go up there. Uh, but that, I think, is the build by overview of Get Famous. Uh, now, I may have missed some stuff, and for that I apologize if I did. I usually do forget a thing or two in these build by overviews. But I think the thing to note is it's pretty damn good. Like, there's a pretty, there's a pretty good selection of items. Like, there's a good selection of you can do this or... You know, if you want to be a little bit more subtle, but still use these fun items, you can really tone it down. Like, it doesn't have to be a so. No, okay, that's not turning it down. It doesn't have to be so in your face, but you can uh, sort of do that. And then you've also got the live streaming stuff as well. There's a really cool selection of items. I really like it. Uh, there's not many complaints from me on this one. Uh, sometimes I'll have some pretty big issues. I think the biggest complaint... I like how that comes with a seat pack. The biggest complaint I have that at least I noticed throughout doing this review or this overview was the side table, which I don't even know where to find it. That sort of corner side table. Is that miscellaneous maybe? Or is it a shelf? Maybe it's a shelf item. I don't know where it is. That that, <laughs> that corner. Oh, there it is. Where, where is this? Oh, it's a miscellaneous decoration. So it's not even considered a table. Okay, well, I guess, I guess, but it could have been made a table and it could have not had that on it. I think that's legitimately my biggest complaint about this pack, which uh, in terms of build by, which if that's the complaint, I mean, that's pretty good. I, I'm pretty pleased with this. I think it's it's really awesome. I, I think time will tell how much we use this stuff. I think there's a really good selection of normal items. Like we get a whole bunch of new couches. There's like one, two, three, uh, three new three seater couches. Then we've got also one, two. Uh, buckle my shoe, three, four, two seaters, one of them's a bench, and there's a bunch of armchairs as well, there's a bunch of new chairs, like there's a bunch, like, I mean, you saw it, there's a whole, I don't need to go through it all, all again, but yeah, there's a really good selection, um, but yeah, there you go, that is the uh, build, but this is a really lame view to finish on, can I get my lot back? So that is the Get Famous Build by Overview. So let me know what you think in the comments down below if this is a pack that you're interested in for building and all that kind of stuff. I think it's going to be really cool. Not only just for having a bit of fun building some sets, but also building some new houses and, oh, and also combined with terrain tools, which is just a free update for everyone. Uh, I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool. I really love this set. This is my favorite set of items, I think, uh, along with the bathroom and all that. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for this video. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to let me know what you think down below. But I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.